Hello everybody, welcome to the replay cast of game 2 of this round of 32 clash between Rock and Yatsik. Rock was the group winner of this matchup, but Rock but Yatsik won the first game. You can see here that um, they are near the top of the bracket. The winner of this will play Spartacus with his lizard men, so this is going to be a tough ask for whoever wins this. I can tell you that the uh, Rock is Spanish, Jacek is Polish, and they both qualified from the season four official ladder and playoffs. So you know they've uh, they've got in the uh, the hard way, if you like. Um, Jacek's got four guards and a tackle and a leader. So he's gone for the lead. They've, they've both got the same build, right? They've both got the leader and the troll, so they cram everything in. And there's only three guard for rock but he's got he's got the mighty blow as well and they put so they've both got a tackle that isn't used i funnily enough i think the best build would be four guard and a mighty blow and no tackle but i would say that with elves wouldn't i um so yeah they've got nearly identical builds yatsik won the toss chose to receive uh, i think defense will work oh no i think yatsik uh, diced rock a little bit didn't he last time yeah rock had like about three players i remember <laughs> he was having to run around with like five players so, um, and then he's lost the toss, so this is going to be tough because Yatsik just needs a draw, right? So, absolutely, if you win the toss here, you receive, try and get your touchdown done, and then you're, you're through basically, right? Because the Orcs are going are gonna to really struggle to score two on you in the second half unless they uh, bang you out to a ridiculous amount. Um, as far as paint jobs go, I quite like this uh, black and cream here for Yatsik, and Rock has changed his paint. From green to pink, uh, pink's quite, quite fun, isn't it? And uh, it's got orc cheerleaders versus the old world alliance. And he's got a lizard man coach, coaching. Uh, I don't know what what are, they, what are these called? Coaching, uh, coach buildings. I don't know. Whatever they are. So no removals. Stun's okay, but it's not very impactful, is it? You know, this is a this is a marathon, not a sprint, right? It's eight. It's eight turns. Getting a stun here doesn't really do a lot. It would maybe like stop Rock trying to bully him if he was going to base everybody or something. You know, you're not, you don't do that with stun players. But like realistically, in a, in a bash mirror like this, the stuns are inconsequential in early turns. Mm -hmm. So yeah, tries the 3 plus dodge off. I mean, he has got to try and get penetration somehow, hasn't he? Uh, I guess that's coming from a troll blitz. If it works. Oh, I thought you'd, I thought you'd done the big. I thought you'd have uh, blitzed the big one, right, and then leave that tackler completely surrounded. Because now he, the troll can just get punched down. Hmm. Oh, we're going in. We're going in. So this is the thing, right? The stun. The stun stopped him from going in earlier. And now he thinks he sees an opportunity to go in, which is troll down, tackler knock somebody down. Andy makes the blitz. Oh, he's not even he's not even blocking the big one. Oh, because it's chaining the angle is chaining that guy out. Okay. Okay. Heavy contact. Heavy contact on turn two. Rock playing like he needs a win, which, you know, he does. <laughs> so I mean slightly bad ordering of not picking him till the end, but I like this. I like. I mean, uh, if you uh, if you cast your mind back all the way to the play-ins for the season two finals, and I was playing some orcs who got a uh, timeout and uh, scored an improbable touchdown. Um, I ha I played like this with dwarves versus orcs, and it was horrible, and I got beat. But like, I think it is the way to do it. You know, like it, it's kind of high risk, high reward, right? Like I think. I think this is how you get the win as the Orcs, so I think it's the kind of right strategy. Rock did get a stun on the, on the troll, so that might give him a bit of leverage for next turn. And I 
doesn't look like oh there's a reroll gun it doesn't look like Yatsik is able to beat all of these guys off is it no one's left in contact two are left in contact so three are left in contact <laughs> Okay, I'm not a big fan of this turn from Yatsik. Um, can Rock take advantage? It is an Orc Mirror match, but look, at least it's a replay, right? It's a lot faster. Things can still happen as well. Um, but it's a lot better when you're seeing, you know, Orc Mirrors in replays, right? We've got to, we've got to get through all the games. We've got to get through all the games. And uh, replay is definitely the way to get. An orc mirror done. Maybe a good thing for the round of eight live finals in Montpellier that uh, <laughs> this this orc mirror won't happen <laughs> in the top eight. Honestly, orc mirrors aren't as bad as lizard man mirrors, so they've got that going for them. KO. Oh wow, that was a KO. He used the app on the KO. Oh wow, yeah. So Yatsik under the cosh here. You know, heavy contact from Rock, no answers to it. Despite having the extra guard. Right, Yatsik has the extra guard. But he's stunned. But this was this was some good basing. Some good basing from Rock. And now he's getting a load of blocks. An absolute Army of Blizz, not an army, I don't know what it is, it's a... <laughs> Whatever it is, there's got to be a word for this, because there's loads of blocks here. This is unbelievable. Three D from the troll? No! Oh, I really like the three D from the troll. I, like, I get that he wants to reposition it, but three dice with Mighty Blow is really nice. Ah, oh, chain out to move these over. A rake of blocks. That, that is very Irish, yeah. I, 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 didn't, I couldn't read the game. The game? The name, Caelan. But yes, my Irish, my Irish pal said a rake of things all the time, yeah. I was thinking more like something, you know for uh, something more tailored to blocks. I don't know what it would be. Like a... Uh, I can't think of something funny. So I probably shouldn't try. That's beyond my pay grade, isn't it? Thinking something funny. Let's just concentrate on... Oh, he banged him. Apo used to stop the KO. So both players use their Apo correctly, right? I think... Yatsik, if he gets his score done, he wins the game. And similarly, if Rock stops the score, he's in with a chance for the game. Um, unfortunately, this troll went stupid there. You know, he was going to bring it over towards the middle, which I think is okay. But I would have liked to three dice with it, but fair enough. It makes sense getting in, in the centre. But again, quite a few hits. But yeah, going for the repositions. He's got these two guys. For, the problem is, I guess, he's got these two guys frozen out. But that's two of his guard, right? So yeah, he's blitzing the second one. Look at that elf screen. Full elf screen. And then dodges. Turn six for Yatsik, and he's got to do something. So, are we going to go through the big one here? Maybe, maybe he has to. Well, I think he probably had to. Problem is, he just doesn't get anywhere, right? But he, he would, he would like get the troll out, and he would get the big one out, right? That would be the thing. This big one would be through. He wouldn't get the whole cage through, but he would have got people. So instead, he's mashing in. He's mashing in, but whether this will be enough or not, it is starting to look like a uh, no-score drive, yep. Mr. Throw trying to centralise, keep his options open. These three players standing up for Rock is pretty nice. 
you can base the ball. I think basing the ball is correct, right? Because orcs can't really use the blitz somewhere else. Like, you know what I mean? like they can't just dodge away on twos or anything, right? Like, Oh, he's not dodging them anyway. Oh my god, he gets the AV break. So now, like, stuns are critical, well, that's a KO. But a stun would have been critical anyway, right? So, yeah, he does go in. Maybe because of the removal. Kept his options open. Oh my god, dead, dead, dead. Well, yeah, he could have also trolled on the ball, yeah. Yeah, trolling the ball rather than follow could have been a thing. And, uh, wow, this is looking terrible for Yatsik now. Honestly, he can't really complain after the first game. Uh, but he can turn the corner here, but he just can't get through, right? It's turn seven. I think he had to get some players up through here last turn. The the piling in here would have been fine on, like, turn four or five. But it's just too late. And uh, and now he's going to really struggle to turn the corner in any meaningful way. Mm. Troll and tro hot troll and troll action. Yeah, he, he, he just didn't have anything, did he? I mean, he still hasn't got anything. It's turn seven and he still hasn't got anything. Okay. He finally has a scoring threat. And that's his last reroll gone. To get a second. Wow. Wow. Ugh. Puke on puke. So it was a, I was going to say it's a fairly quick decision, but it's because it's a replay. No idea how long it took him. I took ages on my turn one of my drive, didn't I, in my game? But that's because I knew that I wasn't going to need the time bank later. Really, but I didn't, no, I didn't think I would. I thought that was the most critical turn. I'm trying to figure out. All the things with the shadowing and the surf and the looking after the ball. Yes, I like to imagine that thing at the replay speed, yeah. I mean, I can tell you that the, the, the stress is insane, so I, I understand all misplays. Okay, this is actually relatively easy, isn't it? Relatively easy score here. 1D, pals him, and then lob it, lob it, and wait, okay, I mean, yeah, it didn't matter where he went, he was still going to have to dodge, but he had no rerolls, and he failed to pass anyway, no scoring threat for Rock, maybe he should have tried to get a scoring threat in last turn, nah, I think this was probably right, wasn't it? So, uh, yep, yeah, good, very good half for Rock. I mean, he definitely got the better of the dice, didn't he? Um, a Kaz and an extra KO. We both made a KO and both appoed it. Yeah, it's not terrible, is it? If he'd had, like, two rerolls for that, it would have been easy, in fact. Um, you need an extra two in there, though, for, for animosity. <laughs> oh, dear. And actually, it would have been, like, a four, right, because he was in a tackle zone. So yeah, so Rock gets the stop, and yeah, they have to play for the one nil. Yeah, they just have to. Um, so he's got the nil. He's got the nil part. So now, if Rock can get his drive done, he can win this game. And you, honestly, you can't feel bad for Yatsik because the first game was insane. He like <laughs> Rock had like four players left or something. <laughs> So, it's probably fair if uh, Rock wins this one. Or, like, rather how many dice he gets is completely fine. This was a very st strong side here, wasn't there? Very strong. Interesting. To go so strong on one side. It's not what I would have done. Oh, wow, he's tagging out the guards. Okay, I, this is a bamboozling me. 
I am bamboozled. I am 100% bamboozled. This I do not like at all. Because he's split his team. I mean, he hasn't really split his team. So I guess he's he's pushed his team over to this side and stranded the big one. Which will work if he just gets 2 deed for the whole half, right? Giving away a 2 dice block without block. And then he takes a guard, route, a guard and strength 4 out of the fight. So it's a great trade if he keeps this trade for the whole half. The problem is if he gets stunned. Or if he blitzes him or whatever and then stops this trade happening. But that is a good trade uh, to have for the whole half, to be fair. I mean, who can say who's right or wrong? You know, that's it. You'd have to be, you'd have to be the best player in the world to categorically say things are right and wrong all the time. So he's putting the the tr the thrower there, so he can block with the thrower, I guess, next turn. He could also threaten a surf, right? He could have also threatened a surf and then moved away next turn or something. But I guess threatening a surf would be too many players. Blockless Blitz, rolls Dub Skulls, gets the pal. Going for a Blockless Blitz at this stage is a bit spicy, isn't it? Um, it's a bit spicy. Because he had blockers free to do the Blitz. This one was a block. Oh my god, mega KO. Absolute mate. It's funny, right? Because as bad as the trolls have been, <laughs> removing one feels amazing. Yeah, definitely not going to activate the troll here. That would be suicide. Dodges to retag. What an L. No, you can't. You can't activate him, Gold Stacker. If he if he activates and Boneheads are like, well, really stupid. It's just awful, right? He has to just leave him. Well, that's a nice removal back for Yatsik. Huge removal back. Yeah, you can. You, you don't turn over on a sick. But you can still bonehead. Well, really stupid. Lose your all your tackle zones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's no, no. It would be it would be really good if you couldn't go stupid on his puke. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. I'd always be puking then, but no, no. He had to. He had to just not go stupid. Honestly, puking would be incredible. Actually, like God. The, Trolls would probably be the best big guy, right? Because you just endlessly puke. <laughs> Knowing that you can't go stupid. Well, this is a very dangerous... This, this is just a player who can punch him. Yeah, so he's forced himself into a rush. And he's got a wall... Like, he's split his own team massively. This is... This was a weird... And the worst thing is, by dodging over here, now, it, the, these are coming back more easily. And he's got to, re can't re-roll that. Got to let that one go. Wow. Maybe Rock is feeling the pressure here. <laughs> I know I, I know I did. I don't think we can hit the ball, though. So I think, you know, at least he's, at least he's got that sorted. Yeah, playoff nerves is absolutely one million percent a real thing. Okay. He was going to get his serve there as well, wasn't he? Like, you could have put him there, but I mean, this is okay, base in the ball. He's, I think he's going to double rush to get him on the other side. But he doesn't re-roll it. In that case, he probably should have moved this guy somewhere else. And then gone for the double rush with this guy, right? So that... Because he's got a guy completely out of position. So he probably should have moved one of them first and then gone with the other. <laughs> I like space by ideally on the one I'm playing. Yeah. He did reroll, yeah yeah, but he should just move some he should have just moved something 
first, right? I oh, did reroll, okay. I just thought he didn't reroll. But yeah, he should have still moved something first, right? That, that was the key thing. The key thing was he should have. Um... Oh my goodness, there's a removal. Oops. Um, who was it? It was a lineman who based. Well now, <laughs> God, there's another one. Now Rock has pretty much equaled the dice that Yatsik had in game one. And now is somehow completely outmaneuvered him and is in a completely dominant position. These are the green faction, green being wood elves. <laughs> wow. It took him a few, it, okay, well, double dodge here. Oh my goodness. Rerolls it. Oh. Still one reroll for Rock, so it's relatively comfortable. Relatively. I mean, it's not over. It's far from over, but it's it is relatively comfortable. Right? <laughs> I mean, he can go in early if he has to as well, because I'm sure he's going to be um, perturbed by by these orcs. <laughs> Even though there's very few of them. Going for the 1D again. Also, he's in Chun's column, so he could get the scatter. Okay, no, he did the blitz there. Honestly, I wonder if... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, rush, rush. Right, that was probably the play, this blitzer. Dodge, 3, 4, 5, 6, rush, rush, 1D. And then if you pow, it could go in the crowd, right? And yeah, it's rubbish, but... I guess what he's thinking is by doing this... You know, maybe it'll be enough. Maybe it'll be enough. And even if it isn't enough, maybe he'll f force the early score, and then maybe he can get the uh, counter score. And to be fair, he's that's ended up a great position, hasn't it? Three players all based. Oh, well, there's the last reroll gone. And he's just going to score, right? He's got to score. No, he doesn't? Yeah, okay, he does. <laughs> like, what? Okay, so it's 1 0. Three turns for Yatsik with no rerolls either and with hardly any players. For eight players. possible it's not likely but it's possible and he knows that if he gets the score I mean they both know that if if uh, Yatsik gets the score he's won oh time out so now he's got four turns to score, but still only eight players, so it's still very difficult. It's, it's like it's so difficult, isn't it? I mean, he's down, being down card, but up three players is is a uh, is a tr is a sacrifice you're willing to make, isn't it? 
Just everything just gets monstered, isn't it? This is the problem. Literally everything, every single thing is just locked down, essentially, here. It's going to be the situation. And yes, he's got a reroll. But, um. Oh, well, there we go. There's a dub skull. Didn't move these last two either. Didn't move these last two. That does leave a big and free to blitz with guard. Yeah, so, you know, there you go. The extra guard's good. The problem with this follow is it blocks the path of the blitzer. I think the play was to come back. I don't know how much move he had. But if he could have come back, oh my god, then he won in 81 with the blockers block. And then honestly, I would have gone straight for the pass and Pateo. I know it sounds stupid, but like I just feel so hard to do anything. I guess he, I'd go for the potato into hopefully powering him and then tagging the tackler. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like it's so hard. This is so hard to get this score. And like Rock even rolled the dub skulls, and it still didn't even. Oh my god! Double dub skulls. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly! <laughs> Double dub skulls, and yet it's still not easy for for Yatsik, is it? Like it's still not easy. This is so crazy. Imagine like rolling double dub skulls versus wood elves. <laughs> Instant score on. But um, oh man, he failed. I mean, he doesn't know if he's got eight. If he had eleven, maybe he would have scored. But. He's got one scoring threat. He was getting hit by Mighty Blow. Block Mighty Blow. A third dub skulls? No. <laughs> you can definitely try to get this Lyman on the ball, right? Or even the troll. He could even block with him and then try to get the troll to rush. And then it's like a less bad fail state than the troll going stupid, right? Or like then, then the troll going stupid on the block. So yeah, I, re I really like that though. Okay, so we've got double rush 2D. And that would have given him the jump as well. <laughs> I would have given him the jump, but he doesn't get it. Rock wins the game 1-0. Ties the series at 1-1. So they will have a tiebreaker match. Congratulations to Rock for this game. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.